his 20 pound metal necklace uh -oh. started to pull See in an MRI room? away from his chest as he stepped into the No, there's a reason why these rooms say no metal. The magnetic gradient increases exponentially as you get closer to this thing. It's gonna become a projectile. Room. He reached out to help his wife get up from the MRI table, but the machine don't know. Gene was still on, and it had one of the most powerful magnets on Earth inside. Even if the machine was off, you still shouldn't bring metal in there. Because MRIs don't just turn off in between scans. The magnetic field is maintained continuously. To turn it off, you'd have to quench it. It created a force 60,000 times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. Yeah, that's about right. About two or three Tesla compared to Earth's 50 micro Teslas. But the real hazard is the gradient near the edges of this magnetic field. Its energy is comparable to the detonation of a hand grenade, except in magnet form. Suddenly, his necklace shot Ugh. forward, violently dragging him headfirst into the machine. Yeah, a projectile event. That 20-pound necklace is going to turn into thousands of newtons being pulled in there. Enough to accelerate you faster than gravity. I mean, you use magnetic fields to control fusion reactions. And he died the next day from his injuries. Horribly tragic and completely preventable. They have controlled access zones, just like you would in the reactor containment structure. And mandatory metal checks, just like the four material exclusion monitors have when you're above the refueling bridge at a nuclear plant. Magnetic fields are kind of similar to radiation and reactivity. The same rule applies. You have to respect the physics at work here.